everyone and welcome to this MapWork lesson. Somebody commented on one of my previous videos and asked me if I could maybe do an explanation on how to calculate magnetic bearing. Now in order for us to understand how to do a magnetic bearing it's very important that you understand how to calculate a magnetic declination. So I'm going to give you some background and then give you a concise explanation on how to calculate these things. So firstly it's important for us to understand that the earth has a magnetic field and when you use a compass to find magnetic north um, the, the needle of the compass will point towards magnetic north and which is not true north and so there, there is a there is a variation and what you also need to know is that the magnetic field of the earth changes over time so if you go to exactly the same area a few years later and you try and find magnetic north you'll find that it's not exactly the same as your previous reading so the needle will point in a slightly different direction than when you did it previously what you also need to understand is if you go to a different place um, and you use exactly the same compass you'll find that the needle of the compass won't point in exactly the same direction as when you were in a different location so in order to calculate the magnetic declination you have to identify four very important things. First thing is the mean magnetic declination. You also need to know in which direction this, this variation is. Second thing is in which year was this magnetic declination given. Third thing is what is the mean annual change and in which direction. And the last thing is for which year must the magnetic declination be calculated. So when your teacher asks you to calculate the magnetic declination he or she might give you a map and uh, ask you to find the information um, on the map. This is information with regards to the mean magnetic declination and so what you will see at the bottom of the map will look more or less like this. As you can see where the star is, that is where true north is, then there is the grid north as well as magnetic north. So now that we know what to identify before we can calculate the magnetic declination, let's look at an example of a question that a teacher might give you. So firstly, we will have a look at the mean magnetic declination, which we can see is 13 degrees 45 minutes. It's very important to know that the declination is towards the west. It was given on uh, in the year 2008, in the month of June, and the average annual change is five minutes to the west. That's very important. And your teacher wants you to calculate the magnetic declination for the year 2018. So let's start with the calculations. First thing we need to do is calculate the difference in years. And so we know it's 2018 minus 2008. Very simple calculation. We'll give you a total of 10. Then we need to calculate the magnetic change. And so we know that it's 5 minutes per year. We are going to use this answer. So we are going to say 10 years times 5 minutes, which will give us a total of 50. Another very simple calculation. And um, now we want to add this total to the mean magnetic declination. And so we know that it's 13 degrees 45 minutes plus 50 minutes. Now how do we know whether we should add or subtract? Very simple. When the declination is towards the west, you always add. When it's to the east, you always subtract. So please remember that. So if we add this up, the total will be, uh, sorry, 13 degrees and 95 minutes. Now this answer is actually incorrect. Why is it incorrect? There is only 60 minutes in one degree. So we can't say 95 minutes. And that is why we are going to change this answer to 14 degrees and 35 minutes. And so this is your magnetic declination. So the question was, how do you calculate a magnetic bearing? Now, if you understand how to do a normal bearing, and if you understand how to calculate 
the magnetic declination, then it shouldn't be a problem at all. Because all you do is the following. If your normal bearing is, for argument's sake, 195 degrees, then you simply add the magnetic declination. 14 degrees, 35 minutes, and it will give you a total of 109 degrees and 35 minutes. That's how simple it is. Now, if you don't understand how to calculate the bearing, you can go watch my video uh, on how to, to do that. And uh, feel free to subscribe and feel free to go watch all my other uh, uh, MapWork videos. And uh, see you next time. Goodbye.